It's that magical time of the year where we've got warm evenings, you're sitting there on your back porch and you're looking out. You start to see those flashes as you look towards the forest or maybe just towards the lawn. Lightning bugs and fireflies, they're starting to hatch across the United States. So you're going to start to see a little bit more activity there just after sunset. But do you call them fireflies or lightning bugs? Well, it really depends on where you're from, where you grew up. In the West, they call them more fireflies. Anywhere from the Rocky Mountains westbound, but you head east of the Great Divide. Generally, folks call them lightning bugs, especially in the south and much of the plains. And when you head north, though, it starts to become a little bit more of a mix. So in the high northern plains, still calling them fireflies in general. And the Great Lakes, it's a mix. Some folks call them fireflies. Some folks say lightning bugs, kind of interchangeable. And then when you look towards the northeast, you start to get more firefly activity there towards the Canadian border. And then right around the near York City and Boston area, it's, it's a good mix. But a lot of folks in the Midwest, the South, and the Great Plains call them lightning bugs. And who's right? Well, we tend to get more lightning bugs where folks call them lightning bugs. This is your general map of where we can expect lightning bugs to appear and their timing. So if you don't see the color, we really don't get that many fireflies and lightning bugs out West. They really love a warm, moist, humid climate. So you're thinking about an extra river or a forest that's nice and toasty and humid in, in the late evening, perfect towards the deep south, the, the Great Plains, especially once you get closer to the Corn Belt where you get a little bit more of that humidity coming off with that corn sweat. You can get a good amount of uh, fireflies. But out west, in some mountain ranges, there are a few species that do survive. It's just not usually quite as warm. And of course, in the west, and they've had drought conditions on top of their normally more arid climate. Now, towards the northwest, you know, they start to dry out throughout the summer, uh, but of course lightning bugs like the summertime, so it's more drier for their warm season, so the seasons just don't collide very well back west. But anywhere east of uh, 35 is where you generally have the lightning bugs and fireflies. But right along the Gulf Coast and throughout much of the Deep South, peak fireflies, lightning bug season goes from about mid-late May through June. You go a little bit farther north into Arkansas and Missouri throughout the Ozarks, then east into the Appalachians. A lot of times it's June into July. That goes right into the southern edges of the Great Lakes. And then for much of the Great Lakes, north of Chicago, north of Cleveland, and north of Detroit, really got to wait more towards July. And even August is when our peak firefly season, lightning bug season, uh, really, really starts to ramp up. But depending on the species, really kind of depends on its life cycle. A lot of times they only you know, are out and about during mating season. And that's when they have the lights going on, uh, especially with the males. Uh, but otherwise, they're really only out for three, four, or five weeks, depending on the species. So it's kind of a short window. And then each species kind of launches at a different time. But generally, June to July is really a good time of the year for much of the United States. If you go a little bit farther north, you got to start waiting more towards late July and into August. The other problem, though, with lightning bugs and fireflies is that they've been reportedly going down their population. If you think about this, we keep expanding our cities, we get more lights out. Fireflies and lightning bugs don't like lights because they're using their lights to attract their mates. And so it comes a little bit of a problem with light pollution. A lot of folks remember seeing fireflies and lightning bugs a whole bunch when they're little. And then as they've gotten older, they may have not seen as much. Now, are we out in the evening all the time looking? Maybe that's a sort of a factor too. But light pollution does make an impact. And then also the, just the, the environment that you're around, you know, very, very short lawns don't really help fireflies. They like longer grasses. They still like kind of being around the forest and different marshes and swamps and, and any kind of lakes. They, they really like to thrive. They got to have a water source, a good water source. They like to have that humidity. So anywhere east of the Great Divide is where we have that humidity. But firefly season or lightning bug season, whichever you want to call it, has begun.